These are vacant buildings. folks major fire third alarms been transmitted they got exposure problems they're putting in Problems in this building right next door. They're gonna get a line in there. I'm gonna stay here as long as possible. They're going to put a tower ladder up in operation, 44 tower ladder. They're going to hit it with that, they're going to knock down a lot of fire. house is almost completely gone and there's nothing left. Five 
Bravo 5 control. 5 control. Make sure we have enough line to go up uh, three more flights of stairs. They're bringing lines into the exposure prop of a building Temple, next door, so they won't have a problem. 4-9 roof to command. Command, We have heavy fire on the exposure floor side, third floor. I've accessed it from the rear of the original fire building. That floor. 135, back to the command. Everybody is out of the original fire building. Uh, 10 4. 4. Yeah. Alright. Heavy fire throughout both buildings and exposure 4 has extension, it looks like. They're gonna hit it with the tower ladder very soon. I'm just going to focus on the fire, folks. I'm not going to look for angles or talk about anything. Once they get that tower ladder operating, they're gonna get it knocked. At least a large portion of it. Looks like there's a tornado, fire tornado, right in there coming out that window. All right, they're waiting to give the uh, tower ladder water. Battalion one six to command. Command. Command ahead. I'm in the exposure too. I'm with 50 engine. We're stretching a line. Should be. Uh, in operation shortly, we'll be able to get good water uh, from exposure to down onto the fire building. All right, that's four. I'm three short for so one seven. Tower ladder is going to be supplied by 92 engine. I got two lines off me now. All right, that's four. Rescue with giant expense. Come on. Get a new line on exposure four. Third floor. Windows start cracking. 10-4. 5-0 to command. Command, go ahead. Chief, I have to knock an air conditioner out of the window. Is there anybody in the exposure two side next to the building? Command, uh, battalion 1-6. Is there anyone in that alley there on the exposure two side? Stand by, I'll get back to you. One seven or four four bucket. I want you to move over to this building over here to the left. One seven of engine uh, ladder four or five. I need you to set up your tower ladder. You're gonna take the original fire building. Tally one three to engine six eight. Six eight. Do you have enough line to make it into exposure four? The windows are about to fail. On our way, Chief. 5 out of 9 3 chauffeur. Look at it. 9 3 chauffeur, guys. Unbelievable. Salt water. 10 4. Salt water. Salt water. One three exposure four sector to command. Command. Yeah, chief. All these apartments are empty. The windows are uh, probably going to fail soon. We have six eight bringing the line up. That's what. Six eight for one three. Six out of nine two shoulders.
operating from over here you can see it from there I think they have some in the back I'm not sure they're trying to get the uh, tower ladder operating but they got lines they're trying to um, work around heavy fire throughout falling apart. They're stretching lines all over the place. It's an inferno. comes the water. They're gonna knock. They're gonna go knock the lot of fire down with the bucket. Uh, 
I said at 117, we're going to be totally clear. We're going to have a shot in the fire building from outside. They're going to put a tower ladder up in operation, 44 tower ladder. All right, that's one. You're not going to have any shot from anything else. They're going to hit it with that. They're going to knock down a lot of fire. Come out the fire sector. I'm out of the building. We're setting up the tower ladder. Back out. One three fire sector. 10 floor. Someone just... We're moving out right now. Uh, four four buckets. Three buckets. That's, that's the tower while you're on. It's high and low. Battalion 3, staging area manager. Guy 1-3, exposure 4, sector command. Command. Yeah, 68's having trouble getting their line up here. If you could give them a little help, uh, we have... We're going to have fire on the 4th floor and the 5th floor and exposure 4, so we're going to need that second line to go to uh, the 5th floor, okay? 1-3, you said I need a second line of exposure 4 to go to the 5th floor, right? 1-3, 10 floor. 6-8, stretch into the 4th floor. We're going to need a line to go to the 5th floor. You could probably do a bottom stretch off the front into the hallway to make it easier for them. Rest of the time, command. 6-8, back up to 6-8. 6-8. No, stand by truck, good. 45 truck, you're right on those power lines. Back that off. You're right on the power line. One-eye truck with one-eye, what's your location? Austin, I'm in the MD on exposure 4. 4th floor. Command to exposure two sector, to die one sector. Exposure two sector, go ahead. At this time you don't have any fire in exposure two, correct? That is correct. Windows have failed, but we do not have any fire extension to expose to. Alright, that's all. We have the two lines coming up there. Use them as you need them. Then we can do a final stretch and get the line up into this exposure floor. 
got caught by a uh, window. It's blowing a lot of water up in the air. Right, the address of 1041 and 1043 Ogden Avenue is between West 165 and West 164 Street. This fire is in two private dwellings with extension into exposure port. The fourth alarm has been transmitted, box box 2528. To the address of 1041 and 1043 Ogden Avenue. Between West 165 and West 164 Street. All right, they just transmitted the fourth alarm. I tried to get on another building, but uh, I can't find the entrance to it, so I'm just going to have to stay here. Uh, they fixed the holes that popped over there. They say they got extension, but I'm not sure if it's into this building here. Uh, they did have some on the setback. All right, guys, I just was looking around for an angle, but I just want to show you, they got most of the fire knocked down, a lot of the fire. They're, they're dealing with extension into this area here on the third floor, but I don't know how much extension they got. It didn't extend inside. We're using the line to hit the original fire building. All right, I don't think it extended inside. Unbelievable. Rapidly developing story. Battalion, battalion. One three. If you don't, uh, use that line, just move down there. You might have a bomb and just hit whatever you can. Ten four. All right. Battalion, so battalion, uh, battalion, battalion. the um. Once they put tower ladders up on these fires, uh, they got the forty five, the forty five, 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 forty once they put those tower ladders up, once they put those tower ladders up, they uh, knocked down a lot of fire. They fixed the line that popped over there, by the way. There's little pockets of fire in the uh, back on the second floor. Uh, the house to the left is mostly gone, the second floor. I'm going to go around the other side. If you'll come to time, 205 hours, your duration, 5 for the 54 minutes of progress report is due. All right, guys. Climbing the roof. You guys wanted to see it? Six floors. I'm almost there. Okay. All right, guys. We just got up here on the roof. We got uh, some fire left. All right, this is the back side of the building. I could only imagine what it looked like on fire. Uh, this is the area where they had some extension or thought they had extension. They got lines up there operating. See all the flashlights. And uh, this is gonna be the, uh, the last angle because they knocked down the bulk of the fire with the tower ladders, as you saw in the front. They're working in this building as well. I don't know what that is. It looks like a hotel. I'm not sure. <coughs> Some of the fire will pop out here and there, but they're surrounding and drowning it. There's water coming in from all angles. They have a line down there, right there. This line, the tower ladder over here. They have a line 
they have heavy pockets of fire towards the front over here and small pockets in the back. Very old structures and uh, very, very uh, tight as you can see. How they built this house so close to that building is beyond me. Over here, there's hardly any space, and hardly any space between that building and that. So it's unbelievable. This is a new construction building here, and that's old construction over there. Come up to the stairs, eight stair off, second floor, straight to the back. We have another setback where we can hit the rear of the fire building. So we need another line here onto eight stair off, exposure four, straight to the back. All right, I got a, I got a line on the third floor. Can you use that? All right, maybe we can hit it from that angle. I'll drop a look. We went to a small fire in Manhattan and on Madison Avenue early on, and we were hanging around. And this came in, and we flew up here. Yeah, jump. Here. I'm good to start water. All right, step four. Four four to nine two show. Could you get that, Kevin? We're good for water. Stand for it, here comes your order. Imagine four-four bucket, so if you pull back, there's fire in that second floor in the front. There's fire in the second floor in the front. Four-four bucket, third floor. Yeah, that's what I said, all the way down there. One three exposure four sector to command. Command ahead. Sixty eight engines being relieved by ninety two engines. We're going to take the line from the third floor to the step back on the second floor. Try and hit the original fire building from the rear, Captain. Command to uh, 1-6. What unit is being relieved? 6-8 is being relieved by 92 engine and he's pulled to four seconds. I don't know where they have the extension. Engine 3-5, engine 6, uh, let us know when you got enough line up there. I'm just going to film and whatever. I'm not going to keep looking for angles. This is it. <coughs> All the fire is uh, concentrated down here below. Battery battalion, 1-3 battalion. 1-3 to the rescue. Alright, I'm on the second floor. You want 53 in their lineup, but you want to draw that line on, on your floor. It's an inferno. Uh, uh, I haven't gotten a good progress report either. 82, trying to figure 84. 10 4, 8, 8, 8, 4. Italian 1 3. Italian 1 3. 2 45 bucket. 4 5 bucket. Collapse We're gonna now. be off this setback, so if you want to hit the original building, you can hit it, okay? Did you guys see that? The whole garage area setback collapsed. Alright, step four. I'm not in the line of fire with the wind today. It's going the other way, but it's still strong. Five over to four four bucket. Four four bucket. Just be aware we're operating in that window uh, to the left of you. Ten four.
I think there's gonna be more fire probably popping up here in the back. Uh, I mean, they're trying to get water on it, but there are so many areas that they gotta address right now. Go ahead, go ahead. Especially over here. Over there, that building I think is okay. smoke now knocking down a lot of fire the FDNY always finds their own angles they get in all the exposures and they start spraying that water out of very window and rooftop they could possibly get. I believe it's uh, still at a fourth alarm. A lot of smoke pushing, you can't really see a lot now. over there on the fifth floor or over here oh, we'll see in a second right here right in front of us right here fifth floor they're hitting pockets of fire back here imagine the battalion one city were you looking for a truck to get released Negative, not at this 
break and uh, I want to come back uh, they got a lot of water on it but they still have small pockets of fire in certain areas uh, they're operating with two tower ladders that I know of and one two three four five hand lines that I know of there might be more because I can't see down there there might be more than one operating down there um, I'm probably gonna go downstairs and close out the video because the rest of this is going to be all smoke unless anything flares up i don't see anything major flaring up in there but the structures are pretty large uh they had a heavy volume of fire i could only imagine upon arrival because you guys saw what we got when we got here and i don't know how these fires start in the middle of the night at two or three in the morning like this um, it could be squatters. I don't know that for sure But they have a new building here and you never know sometimes they want to make way for more buildings So we got only use our imagination. We can't make any accusations and just think about how and why All right, so I can see one line there one line in the bottom One in the back, that's three, four, five lines, five lines, six, I see six lines and two tower ladders. That, that house, the whole second floor, almost all of it is gone now. And this house lost the whole roof and area in the middle area here. I had to climb another six floors today for you guys. We were downtown, it was very quiet. We went to a small, very quickly knocked down fire in a, a restaurant on Madison Avenue. The previous video. Alright, they want this this tower ladder shut down. They're gonna change the members. The members are gonna be swapped out. Uh, I'm not sure if they swapped out the ones in this tower ladder. But if if they didn't, they will soon. Thank you. Yeah, I got ladder five nine and ladder one three out to the secondary. Uh, the whole building. Get back here in a minute. Command of the tower 1-3. Anything released in there? 1-3 knock. Thank you. Now I got to stop the one tower ladder. You can see a little bit more. One, three, four, four. There's a lot yeah, of steam there's blowing there's too. On that the one on the second floor is only hitting a little bit. Just, uh, six one on the fifth floor seems to be hitting. You can contact them or Battalion 26. I think they're up there with them. That's this line right here. Battalion 26, man. Yeah, Danny, we, we got a good knock on it. We just got some stuff in pocket because uh, there wasn't even the roof line. All right, step four. Here you guys are operating that line. Next to it. Six oh and thirty five back in a month. All right, step four. 
Still come there, engine 92. 92. What's your location? I want to get a good progress report from Fieldcom. I'm going to see if they do one shortly. Anybody backing you up? Anybody backing you up? Anybody backing you up? Anybody backing you up? You can't always get all the angles. I mean, we got the front as much as was uh, possible until they knock a lot of it down. But I'm sure that if we would have came up here early on, it would have been uh, unbelievably spectacular from the looks of all the missing roof and attic. That's all gone now. And that house is completely demolished. So that fire must have been blowing way, 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 way high. And this one, forget about it. All right, they're stopping some of the lines and they're rotating members and so forth and so on. They're hitting small pockets of fire now. Uh, but there's got a lot of work to do here. I'm gonna go downstairs and probably close up the video in a little while, get some operations and stuff. They're probably still using hand lines in the front and whatnot. Okay. As the uh, drone is making a pass, they supply footage to the tablets downstairs and uh, the command post. It's a little blurry, but there it is. All right, I'm gonna go down. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go down the stairs. These are very steep today, and they were just as bad as the ones yesterday, but lesser with the brush fire. You guys always wonder how I get in and out. I asked one of the tenants, they said go up, and you saw what you saw. I'll see you guys downstairs. Okay, I gotta do a quick clip. Where the rack at? There the rack at. Rack three, all set up, ready to go. As you can see, there's a lot of smoke all over the neighborhood. Uh, this is where they brought that line up. They brought a couple of them. I don't know where they all came up. This one and the one in the front that burst. And it looks like they got a... Uh, it looks like they got a... Uh, a car blocking a hydrant. Let's go take a peek. Yep, there it is. The culprit. These people just don't give two shits. Excuse my language. About anything or anyone but themselves. Oh, there it is. It's got a kink in it. They should have put it right through there, but that would have probably caused another kink. And both of them, technically that one's not 15 feet away, so they're both blocking the hydrant. And a uh, major fourth alarm fire with the possibility of extension to a very large building. Uh, it's a nightmare with these blocked fire hydrants. But there it is, both of them. I'm gonna go take a peek. Hey, Camp, you want to shut down the bucket? 10 4. Alright, I didn't go in front of this bucket before. Medical branch, conditions 1 3. 
I'm gonna try to take a peek and see if there's anything visible from that side. Medical branch to traffic condition covering. All right, guys, they uh, moved some of the members inside. Uh, they're in the uh, foyer there, not inside, inside, but uh, right in that little front part of the building. They're operating a hand line. So it's, it's between the uh, ladder there. The cable's actually caught on a ladder. You gotta go down and maybe extend it. Try it. Just let you guys get a peek at what's going on there. There you go. And the ladder's caught on the wires, which was an issue before. I think that they're moving the tower ladder down to rotate members. Very, very tricky with that wire. They need to go down a little bit. It's getting caught on it again. There it is. Let me get out of the way. Yo, you're hooked back into it again. You gotta go back. I move over here because I don't know what those wires are and they need room to work anyway. I think they got a 10 foot hook. I don't know if it'll reach up there. But anyway, so I'm gonna bounce around a little bit longer and then we're gonna get out of here because it's probably two or three in the morning. Maybe more than three, I don't know. Chief Esposito here again, Chief of Operations. All right, they started the uh, investigation. The marshals are here. Uh, they're still hitting pockets of fire. My battery is low. I'm not sure if it's gonna last. I got a charger with me, but I don't want to be here uh, charging nothing. I need to get some sleep. It's almost three o'clock now. Back at the rig. You got five feet. Five feet. And I got my feet wet a little bit. Bottom four or five for the tie one two. The tie in one two. Yeah, chief, we're in exposure two. I can swap personnel out and get the secondary. Okay, my aide's doing uh, the third floor. I'm on the fourth floor right now. Where, where are you guys? We're on the uh, third floor right now. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm looking at you.
just want to show you guys what's going on in the front here. command post is over there. It's very, very crowded. Uh, the chiefs are all over there. like Malcolm Morris here as well with Esposito. I don't know who else is all over there. I'll take a look later. Uh, they just shut one of those down. They're getting the other. They're putting the uh, water on it with the uh, two tower ladders right now and those two hand lines. Now one and whatever they got still going on in the back. Catch a fuel com. I might catch a fuel com uh, progress report shortly. I gotta keep paying attention because if I don't pay attention, I'm gonna miss it. Four seven action four I missed the report for not paying attention. I was talking to someone. And for fuel count, the time of that report received at 0303 hours. Your duration was one hour. Did you get a video of the magisterium guy? Yes, sir. All right, I'm going to do a, a quick uh, explanation of what's still going on. If you look back there on the roof area, 
they still have that line operating the one tower ladder operating the other one operating and some of the hand lines on the ground level but it looks like they're making good progress on the fire uh i believe they went probably will hold uh we're, we're gonna get out of here soon because uh the truth is that it's getting late and i'm getting a little hungry too so i'm gonna monitor for just a little bit longer all right guys it's uh clearing up a little bit i just wanted to give you guys the last few minutes of what it looks like still a little smoky uh they're working on hot spots it's gonna be a lot of uh overhauling and extended operations Two hours, eight minutes of progress reported to. Ten four. Three twenty, dispatcher three eighty. Five to six oh seven. All right, just coming up front over here. To check it out a little bit longer. Um, I don't know if the uh, smoke is up, making my camera a little blurry, but I hope it's not. Um, we're right here by the uh, command post. Uh, Kiocom is here. And uh, all the top chiefs are over there too. Can't see them all, uh, but they're there. Still trying to unhinge that power ladder from up there. I've been caught up on there for a while, so.
I don't know if he means out that way or oh. Yeah, that's hooked up on that in there. A little more, Joe. A little more. A little more, Joe. Alright, Joe, you should be good. He's gonna hold it up. Just go nice and slow. Nice and slow, Joe. Yeah, and they're bringing the uh, tower ladder down. Probably rotate members and whatnot. They've been up there for quite a while. Or it looks like one. He's been up there for quite a while. But they rot rotate them every now and then. Uh, I don't know how much the time frame is for it. Don't move, Joe. Oh, yeah. It's still very smelly and smoky. But we got to get out of here. I'm sorry that I'm sorry to repeat myself. I think they're gonna lower the ladder for good. I don't think they really need it anymore. It looks like all the fire. I just wanna point something out. You see this green box here? I'm gonna zoom in on it right there. I'm sure a lot of you know, that means don't go into a building uh, for whatever reason, but <clears throat> these were two vacant private dwellings there's a lot of talk going around that people were squatting in there i don't know that to be true whatever the reason is uh it was not good so Right, guys just giving you a little update uh they still have a little pockets of fire smoldering um we're gonna be taking up from here i just wanted to show you the scene uh you have a lot of members waiting around for the detail if they gotta go in and work uh the engines all around some of them are packing some of them are still supplying water um they got lines everywhere there's lines all the way up that way lines that way lines this way all the way down the street that way there you got your rack uh area uh lines all the way this way you can see the lines everywhere and uh the rack managers there with the members um they're starting to pack little things the yellow line, I mean, the yellow light is really screwy. So let me see how I can get. Uh, 
I think it's about four o'clock in the morning now. The rack is getting good use. The rack has two tables on. Just a little bit longer and then uh, we'll take up. The news is here all over the place on every corner. They brought both tower ladders down so I think they're pretty comfortable with that. That's going to be enough with, with the tower ladders. <laughs> There's a uh, sky of fire over there smoothing. Command of the time, two six. Two six. Uh, why are you relieved, 60 engines? Uh, I got 35 engines on that line. Yeah, that's why I just say that. Uh, Companies continue to hit pockets of fire. Tower ladders have been shut down, and the fire range probably will hold. For that report received at 0350 hours of duration, two hours, three, eight minutes. Feel comfortable. Feel comfortable. All right, two hours and 38 minutes. I think that that's enough for me. Uh, with that said, uh, from Ogden Avenue and West 165th Street in the Bronx. Uh, it's gonna be a, a two and two. We're gonna see you all on the other side. I uh, just wanted to show you guys, things have calmed down tremendously. They got Con Edison came in, they moved the tower ladders out of the way. Con Edison is gonna start cutting power to this, that, and the other. The command post is down there. Uh, they might do a press briefing if they do. I'm gonna hang on. Uh, hang in for a few minutes. Uh, we'll see. If not, then I'll come back and close it up. Sure. Hey, we're going to see if we can bring the rear around. Uh, see if we can come up Ogden uh, onto 165 Street. I can come up Ogden. All right, Temple, come up, Ogden. Uh, Add 165 and meet us there with the rig. Just say and spell it for me in your title. Uh, good morning. It's John Esposito, E S P O S I T O. I'm the Chief of Fire Operations. Okay, and John J O H N? J O H N, correct. And so now, so tell me about these fires. Took you guys about three hours to put under control? So, a uh, little after one o'clock this morning, we received a call for a building fire here at uh, 1043 Ogden Avenue. We arrived to find uh, heavy fire throughout uh, the, the three story building with extension to 1041. Uh, eventually went to a fourth alarm, uh, 40 units, 180 firefighters. Uh, you can see we're still on the scene. The fire is now under control. Uh, we do not have any injuries at all. Uh, we're going to still be here for a few hours. Uh, the cause of the fire is under investigation, uh, and we're still, uh, you know, still going to be here. 
You can see we have Con Ed moving some wires for us so we can uh, position some, some apparatus to completely extinguish the fire. Property damage wise, those two houses are destroyed, it looks like, but what about this new building right here? Did that they So the, 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 the building on the right is, uh, looks, it's not occupied, it's still under construction. Uh, we had firefighters in that building with hose lines putting water on the fire. Uh, that there's minimal damage to the buildings next door. And the building on the left, you can see, is an occupied multiple dwelling. We had firefighters in, in throughout that building as well, and we had no extension. There, no were some neighbors, there were some neighbors that were concerned that fire might spread since it was fully engulfed. Sure, it's, with, with all of that fire, that, that building's pretty close. Uh, so we put firefighters there with hose lines to, to protect that building and, uh, and move the people out of the way. And, uh, so there was no extension to that occupied building next door. And I don't know if you could talk about this, but does it look suspicious at all since someone lived in the building, it goes on fire overnight? Yeah, so, you know, with, 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 that, uh, with that amount of fire in the middle of the night, we have our fire marshals investigating the pores, and uh, they, they'll, they'll, they'll determine uh, what started the fire. They don't have that at this time. Okay. And no uh, injuries to any of your firefighters, uh, right? we don't have uh, We don't have injuries at this time. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you guys. Right, that's Chief Esposito. Um, he did a quick briefing. Uh, we're going to get out of here now. Uh, all right, guys. I uh, knew that I signed off a little while ago, but after the news conference with Chief Esposito, they lit up some tower ladder lights, and I wanted to show you what this all looks like before I get in my car and go home. Um, that, second, that second floor is gone. Uh, they're inside spraying now, so it's safe. I'm just gonna go in front here. They're spraying, I hope they don't spray. And then I'll look at the other one as well. That one had window bars all around. I don't even know how. It doesn't look like anyone was in there, but who knows? The gate is open there. Anyway, so there's what's left of that. And I probably said it, but taking out once again probably once again two and two see you all on the other side well that's not good